might be asking yourself a question. Why am I looking at, at this cute little dog named Archie? Why am I looking at little Archie? You know what? It's not relevant. This picture is not relevant to the podcast. This picture is not relevant to the topic of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this picture is not relevant to anything I'm about to say. But what I'm about to say is, right now, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they are beyond anything but relevant in the NFL. Anything. So that is how I feel right now. Looking at Archie, Archie looking at me, that's how I feel. This game yesterday was incredible. Incredible. Now, I want to bring up two pictures as I do like a mini, just a mini rant, mini podcast, right? But say goodbye to Archie. But what is happening with our Pittsburgh Steelers? Okay, this was a winnable game and they, they let it go to pieces. Now, where where's this? The standard is the standard. Where is the Pittsburgh standard right now? The Pittsburgh Steelers are two and five. They can't move the ball on the offense. The offensive coordinator, in my opinion, and, and maybe in your opinion too, I would say so, stinks. The off- offensive coordinator, Matt Canada, stinks. Okay. Scoring 14 points, 10 points a game is just not good enough. Not good enough for our Pittsburgh Steelers. It's it's beyond laughable, very hard to describe. But then in reality, the standard is the standard. And right now, the Pittsburgh standard, I thought, was going to be going up. The Steelers went out and beat the Buccaneers with backups, took care of Tom Brady, had, 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 had such high hopes for our team moving forward into this game. I actually thought they were going to win this game 24-23. I thought they were going to win by a point. They had a chance to go win by a point. However, rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett, and I don't want to jump on Kenny straight away, but rookie quarterback Kenny Pickett threw a game-ending interception that finished everything, right? But I question, you shouldn't have put yourself in that position anyway. When you think about it, if the standard is a standard, why are you waiting to the very end, the game winning touchdown, when you had five drives, six drives before that to end the game or put points on the board? The defense played pretty good to almost great in, in, the, in the second half. However, they couldn't come down with the pick. Tua did not turn the ball over. Tua almost threw four interceptions, and he definitely could have turned the ball over. So for me, the old standard is the standard. I do like the saying, I love my Pittsburgh Steelers. But for the last, I've got to say, four or five years, something is up. The Steelers can't, they cannot score points. They hang in games near the end. And things like yesterday happen all the time. We try to come back, and nothing is good enough. Now, to me, the whole team needs to be blamed. But there are standouts. There are standouts like Matt Canada. There are standouts. I think there's pressure on Kenny Pickett. He should have played better near the end. But overall, I think Kenny Pickett did a pretty good job. I thought he did okay for what he was being offered from the offensive coordinator. Now, there needs to be pressure on Mike Tomlin, 100%. We've said this a million times. But we are facing now possibly... A losing season is in the realm of possibilities right now. Two and five next week versus Philadelphia Eagles. They're six and oh. There's probably no way we can have a chance to beat them. If they play like this and score 10 points, Jalen Hurts and that crew are gonna lay they're gonna lay they're gonna lay at least 30, 35 easily. And this offense will not be able to keep up with that. With, with their offense, not at all. 
However, guys, I want to I want to end this. I want to end this, you know, on on um on this picture here that I found on Twitter. Now, I don't know when this was taken. I don't know if it was after the game, if it was during the game. Uh, it may have been during the game, but this is a picture that does say a lot. However, we don't know what he's saying. We don't know what the message was. However, we have the whole offense crowded around Mike Tomlin. Okay, pretty much every single starter is crowded around Mike Tomlin. Now, what is Mike Tomlin saying? Is he saying to the fellas, pretty much wake up? Because in this offense right now, I don't see too many players playing with that still, you know, still mentality. Jalen Warren in there has his helmet on. He wants to go. I thought Jalen Warren played excellent yesterday, and he has been. I thought Connor Haywood played some good football, right? And he has been. But a lot of these other guys, and I thought the airline did was trying their best, but still they got burnt a few times. Alrighty. Najee Harris has been non-existent the receivers can't catch the football they're not they're not going through through their routes properly claypool can't stand up right pressure on kenny pickett throwing um interceptions late ending the game this offense right now is terrible right absolutely terrible mike tomlin it might be too little too late to fix these issues one player coming back with TJ Watt, I'm not too sure is going to fix the issues, to be honest. I don't, I don't think that's going to fix the issues. You have everyone crowded around listening to Mike Tomlin, but these words may fall on deaf ears. It may not mean anything. You had a chance in the second half to go out there and score points, and you couldn't score points. You didn't put up one field goal in the second half. You couldn't put Chris Boswell in a position to win or tie the game. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. When you have star starter receivers, Claypool, Muth, Deontay, right? In the backfield, Najee Harris, Pickens, George Pickens. And a good to maybe okay O-line and a young rookie quarterback in Kenny Pickett. This team is going through a transitional, transitional phase right now. We're a bad team, a very bad team. However, last week, and if I build the hype up again, because the season's not over, but last week, I thought that might have been the turning point. However, we may have just hit rock bottom again. If you were a fan of rides, this is the best ride to be on. However, it's an emotional roller coaster. It is an up and down emotional roller coaster. One minute, you're so high on life. The Pittsburgh Steelers are playing fantastic. And the next minute, you look like this. You look like my little mate, Archie, thinking, what the heck is going on? You're so proud to be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. At the same time, you're thinking, what is happening with this team? The fellas, the fellas are crowded around, all listening to Mike Tomlin. But the big thing is, are they taking it in? Are they taking in what he's actually saying? And what is Mike Tomlin saying? Does it mean anything? Is there weight in his words? Mike Tomlin is a wordsmith, but is there weight in his words? Is there value to it? Are they listening? Are they going to use this for the betterment of the team? Because I really don't know at the point. I really don't know what is happening with our Pittsburgh Steelers. All I know is we have, I believe, 10 games left. 10 games. We drastically need the buy. When the buy comes up, it's going to be fantastic. Time to rest, get players back, and almost have a new season after the buy. I believe we will lose this game. We'll go into the buy two and six, and pretty much to make the playoffs. Playoffs to make the playoffs or any any thought of that, you have to win nine to eight games throughout the whole stretch. Right, you have to win at least eight games. To go 10 and 6 or 10 and 7. And it's probably not going to happen. This could very well be our first time losing. Very, very well be Mike Tomlin's first losing season. As Claypool says, losing, never heard of her. <laughs>